Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial, today's topic is nanobodies. Monoclonal antibodies and biologics derived from antibodies are critical tools in cancer research and treatment. Antibodies can be used to inhibit tumor cell proliferation and a signal transduction domain targeting moieties. Many monoclonal antibodies directed against tumor cell surface proteins disrupt the function of their target proteins. The use of monoclonal antibodies has transformed anti-tumor therapy, with impressive results in the treatment of both hematological and solid tumors. However, certain inherent structural properties of monoclonal antibodies and antibody-derived biologics limit their applicability for tumor therapy. The large size of monoclonal antibodies can make them difficult to access tumor cells. Furthermore, the nature of the antibody recognition module a pair of variable domains non-covalently linked via a hydrophobic interface makes the development of bispecific biologics difficult. These factors highlight the need for new antibody formats that have the same binding specificity as monoclonal antibodies but better stability and in vivo pharmacodynamics. The discovery of naturally occurring heavy chain antibodies containing a single antigen binding B domain that is highly stable and soluble designated VHH or nanobody, 15 kilo Dalton, has cleared the way for a new generation of anti tumor therapeutics. When compared to traditional monoclonal antibodies, advantages of nanobodies are smaller in size, more consistent, higher affinity, easier to use, nanobodies in cancer imaging. A variety of imaging modalities are utilized in cancer diagnostics, and molecular imaging. Molecular imaging utilizes a molecular probe that binds to a tumor antigen. Molecular imaging has received a lot of attention with monoclonal antibodies, however, their poor tumor penetration and longer duration of action limit their functions. The serum half-life is a significant impediment to creating high-contrast images. As a result, nanobodies are excellent candidates. Ensuring that non-target retention is kept to a minimum in order to achieve a high tumor to background ratio shortly after administration. Nanobodies in therapy. Traditional small molecule anti-cancer drugs are often limited in clinical application due to side effects and drug resistance. The concept of nanodrug delivery system reflected the new design philosophy for drug delivery methods. Embedding small molecule chemotherapeutics with nanoscale drug carriers not only solves the problem of hydrophobic drug solubility, but also the problem of easy drug removal in the blood circulation process and the accumulation of difficult drugs in the treatment target. The very fast blood clearance of nanobodies emphasizes the need for technologies to increase the blood half life of nanobodies for therapeutic purposes. The small, Monomeric format of nanobodies makes them a perfect plug-and-play tool to generate bispecific nanobodies or larger pluripotent constructs with an adaptable serum half-life that are able to combat envenoming with small toxins, viral, bacterial or parasite infections, and various pathologies. Generation of nanobodies that cross the blood-brain barrier, the attachment of nanobodies to lentiviral particles or even on the surface of bacteria or the creation of nanobodies that are secreted by bacteria will create novel therapeutic opportunities. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please share with your friends and colleagues. Thank you.